Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. This is different. I'm going to be bringing a new thing to my channel. If you've already paid attention that I've already did my at-home silk press, which I will put in the cards above. Now, we're going to do something a little different. I am going to show you guys co-washing. So let me explain co-washing. I know you hear a lot of people on YouTube that have natural hair. They talk about co-washing. Well, let me explain co-washing. And I kind of had to learn co-washing the hard way. And this is also hopefully something that can help you out in the process of co-washing. So let me explain. Co-washing is one of those washes for people with natural hair when you're not wanting to use constant shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. The shampoo does dry out your hair. So what I do, and hopefully this could help you out, is I go back and forth. I'll shampoo one week, co-wash the next week, shampoo one week, co-wash the next week. So being that I already did my shampooing last week of my natural hair, this week is my co-wash. So for co-washing, all it really is, it is a cleansing conditioner. That's really what it is. But it's one of those conditioners that will, it, it brings back hydration, but also does a little cleansing on your scalp as, as well. Can't talk tonight. Yes, you hear Family Feud in the back. So y'all know I love Family Feud. <laughs> so yeah. Um, for my hair, I had to learn about co-washing as I'm dropping stuff in my sink. <laughs> so, for co-washing, the number one mistake with co-washing is you co-wash too much. If you're constantly co-washing, 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 and you're not shampooing or using a clarifying shampoo to clean your scalp. When you do decide to finally shampoo your hair, and I had to learn this myself the hard way, when you try to shampoo, the shampoo is not going to work in your hair. Because by this time, that cold water, that conditioner has built up so much in your hair, it's resisting the shampoo. So now you can't use the shampoo. And then to get your hair back to it, you're really, it's almost like you're going to be stripping your hair and it's not going to work. And it's going to feel like you have buildup. I made the mistake my first year in uh, while I was in transition, I would co-wash a whole lot. And I made the mistake of co-washing a little too much. So when it came time for me to shampoo, nothing would lather up on my hair. It, my hair wouldn't get clean. It actually had buildup. And it was it took me a little bit. Thank goodness it didn't take me that long. But I had learned my lesson from a co-washing. So that's why I alternate. Shampoo one week, co-wash the next week. Shampoo one week, co-wash the next week. The best time to co-wash, the best time to co-wash is after you've had color put on your hair. Because when you're having color put on your hair, you have to shampoo and all that. And then clean the hair and so forth. One week after your fresh color, co-wash. Restore the moisture back in your hair because with color, it does tend to dry your hair out. But when you co-wash, that is restoring the moisture as well as cleansing your scalp. Then the next week, you go back in and you shampoo. So, I'm not quite there yet for the color. It's almost time for my color. Well, it's pretty much when the mirror is time for me to get my color because it's fading. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm going to co-wash because last week I shampooed. I shampooed with the Effigy uh, Curlifying uh, system, which I will bring that to my channel. Um, I know I said I was going to show you how I do a wash and go when I had did my at-home silk press. But again, I can only tolerate it for so long. I had to go back to the girl state. I had to go back girl. I had to. So being that I shampooed last week with my Effigy shampoo, this time, I'm going to co-wash. Find a good co-wash 
Not all cold washes are good for you. I know one brand, they have a cold wash. It does not work on my hair. A couple of cold washes don't work on my hair. But one that I do find that does work really, really well. Plus, I found another one that works so super good. But no, my number one favorite cold wash, it is from Design Essentials. It is their almond and avocado nourishing cold wash. So I'm going to go in with this cold wash today. And then after I cold wash, I still deep condition. I'm going to deep condition with another favorite of mine. And I have some more on the way. Thank you, Lord. I have some more on the way because I, this is, I'm actually using the last of it simply because I have more on the way. So it just got shit to me. So I am talking about the Lovely Bees Oh Honey Moisture Mask. I'm using the last of this. I can't tell you how many jars of this stuff I go through. My daughter and I fight over this because this this Lovely Bees is so good. Her whole system is good. If y'all don't follow Lovely Brianna on YouTube, y'all need to. Because this stuff here, oh my goodness, it is so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and co-wash my hair. And then I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I'll be right back. I'm back. I have co-washed my hair. I am back at my vanity. I will give you all an in-depth um, tutorial on how I co-wash step by step. I just have a little distraction going on right now, so I'm not going to be able to do it now. But I promise you guys, I will do a step by step tutorial on how I co-wash. So now I'm getting ready to finish the process. I did co-wash. Um, again, with my Design Essentials co-wash and with my lovely bee, the last of my lovely bees, Oh Honey Moisture Mask. Okay, so now I'm going to finish up the process. So it's going to be hard for me to do this because I'm holding the camera. I'm going through my hair and as you can see, the curls in my hair, you can see the curls. See my curls, you can see them, you can see them, you can see them. So what I'm going to do next, the next thing I do is I put in this G Carity and Green Tea Restructure. Here it is. I'm going to spray this all over my hair. This is a very good, I feel that this is a good heat protectant as well as restructure your hair and repair damage that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that. I'm going to do this with one hand. And yes, I don't have the shine on my face anymore. I got all the makeup off. <laughs> so I'm going to spray this if I can. Here we go. Hmm. What is going on with my little spritzer? Okay. My spritzer wants to echo. There we go. Okay. And then all I'm going to do with that is massage it. And my hair and this helps with breakage because I do really like the Afogee system which I will show you my wash and go when it's time for me to really clean my hair and I use the Afogee system it's a couple of Afogee systems I use so I will show you a tutorial on that and then the last thing I'm going to do the last product I'm going to put in my hair is from Design Essentials. It is the Design Essentials, um, their leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna put this in my hair. I just put a very small amount because I already have this in my hair. So I really don't need anything else and then that's it. Even in the morning, I won't put a lot of anything. I'm gonna put it right here because my hand is holding. Ah, and this stuff is thick. I don't like putting it directly on my ooh, on my hair. Here it is. You need a dime size of this. So this is all I'm going to put in my hair. I'm going to rub it. And then I'm just going to incorporate it in my hair. And the rest of it I'm going to use. I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> and really guys, that's it. I'm going to, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to pineapple my hair. I have a scarf that I use and I it protects my edges and it just has my little hair like a, this little poof like a pineapple. So I'm going to sleep with that on my head tonight and then in the morning all I'm going to do is take it out. Um, I'm going to put 
this in my hair in the morning. The only thing I'm going to put in, no additional stuff, I am going to put this heat protectant in. This anti-humidity gloss and shine mist from uh, Cream of Nature. I will put this in my hair in the morning just to keep it moisturized. I'm going to probably put it in a full hawk tomorrow. Put some bobby pins on both sides. And I'm just shaking it through. Getting some of the detangles out of my hair. And as you can see... It is very, very soft and look, detangled, very detangled. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I co-wash my hair properly. Again, I had to do it this way because I got some distractions going on, but we improvised. So that's it with this co-wash. And with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.